on, on how some alternative modes of transportation could help drivers save money on gas. Brittany? Gina, Jeff, a trip to the gas station can be rough on the pocketbook right now. And with gas prices expected to rise as we make the transition to summer, some drivers are changing how they get around. The Chevrolet Volt is a new electric car that allows drivers to travel up to 40 miles a day without having to use any gas. The Volt can be plugged right into a standard 150 volt outlet and charge for nine hours. It does have a gas engine. And when the battery dies out, the gas engine kicks on to charge the battery. So it's really a generator. Bill DeFau Chevrolet General Manager Rich Douglas says the Volt will cost drivers about $1.50 to completely charge. He says Bill DeFau Chevrolet has sold 10 volts to customers looking to save money at the pumps. Well, we have a doctor who bought one who lives in Williamsport, Indiana, drives to the hospital up here, and in the first 3,000 miles he had used 1.3 gallons of gas. Perhaps the only sticking point is the sticker price. The Volt's price tag is set at $43,000, but fuel should only cost around $1,000 a year. Compare that to a new Chevy Malibu that costs $25,000 and costs $2,500 a year in fuel expenses. A typical driver will break even after 12 years. But what about drivers who want to save even more at the pump? Co-owner of Beyond the Limits Motorcycles, Cheryl Norris Chapman, says her customers are preparing their fuel-efficient mopeds and motorcycles for the warmer weather. We also see them bringing them in, um, pulling them out of their garage and getting them fixed. Something that they had just put off for a while, but due to the gas prices, it just makes, and if they work locally or not that very far away outside the city, um, it just makes sense. Norris Chapman says a standard 49cc moped has about a two-gallon gas tank. This will allow drivers to get 80 to 100 miles per tank of gas. Right now, if you were to fill up your moped, it would only cost you about $7.98. That certainly beats my $40 fill-up. Brittany Tyner, News Channel 8.